Hi everybody, uh, this is Judy again, and um, I'm starting on a new project, and this is called printmaking. And I played with this a little bit before I started the video, so my gel plate is filthy, but I'm just using the same colors, so it doesn't matter. I dabbed a little bit of um, this gold on here. This is Luminaire, which I just love. And... I put on some gloss enamels, I don't know why they call them that, they're acrylic, deco art gloss enamels, nice purple color. Then I picked a pink, and that's more deco art Americana, and I used all of those. And I first put a little bit of uh, Pandemic Moisturizing Original, <laughs> uh, the, stuff on there. Keeps the paint lubricated for a bit longer because um, it tends to dry out pretty fast so I use some of that and I experimented and then I have this thing that I made out of styrofoam tray for my chicken I bought and there's also a pattern but I also made a pattern with a pencil and this isn't quite card size but uh, so I've been playing with it. It's different colors. And I'm going to take my brayer and smear this around just lightly. Not a whole bunch. Just lightly. There's some places that have... Okay. I think that's enough. And I'll turn this thing over and I will put it up in a corner. And I'll press and press and press because what I want is to make sure that the upper surface that I didn't engrave into will get all the paint it needs. So I just push a little bit like that. Now the gel plate's spongy so it gives way and that's what we need, and we especially like to miss the corners. Now I'll lift this up very, very carefully, and voila, I have tons of paint on there. This is going to be beautiful, but I can't tarry too long because... I'm going to move this out of the way for the moment. I have to put this down, piece of paper. And I'm going to lay this right in the center of the paper and press down. And we'll see how well this comes out. Now, I want to give credit to um, a lady online, get her name. And she, her channel is Have a Happy Arty Time with Jeanette. And she's the one that came up with this idea. So I can't take full credit for it. But I sure like experimenting. And this is what I do as I go on YouTube when I don't have any other artists around me to get feedback. Now let's lift this off and see how I did with this. Okay, I may have to peel it this way. It's starting to dry out. So I'm going to lift this off. And it looks pretty good. Look at that. That is very pretty. And it has a little gold in it. And it has pink and purple. Now later, I'll set this to the side and um, I did another one too which was really good but it does tend to have a little glob of gold there which I might want to take a paintbrush and move it around while it's still wet a bit yeah I'll pick some of that up move it into different areas there we go okay I did that just in different areas and because this is really primitive printmaking we can build on this with more detail uh, we can it's acrylic paint so you can come back in with uh, acrylic paints or markers or anything and embellish on this 
and when I get ready to do that I will continue this video thank you for watching and I'll see you in a bit okay everybody this is dry now and I decided that I would do a little embellishing with this particular print um, I just love that too. I'm, I keep thinking I should do something with that. I don't know what. I'll just set it aside and think about it. So here we are. Um, I used the old print. I had done two and I practiced on the other one and I wanted to be sure that this is what I wanted to do. So here's what I ended up doing to embellish it. I drew circles like this, didn't quite close them because this is kind of crude as you can see, um, just brought it around like that. It's funny, the paint down here kind of tells my pen, oh no, you're going in this direction. I'm going, uh-uh. Okay, so this I'm going to draw right in here. Work these wavy lines. And I just sort of would like to only do that on one side if I can get away with it. Um, now this I found, I actually found a heart in here. So I decided to put that in. On the um, petals, I'm going to bring this down. Continue it. On the petals, I... I can't tell the petals from the background because it's just smirched. So I just take the pen and pull out what I see here that is the petals and try to pull them away from the background. I don't do every single uh, line. I'm just using an ordinary pen here. Sometimes those do great. The points are even better than those expensive pit pens. Um, pit pens are a little more permanent though. But I'm going to turn this into a card. So it will probably end up in somebody's circular file, if you know what I mean. I'm going to go like this and go up in here like I'm casting a shadow. And that definitely pulls it out more, as you can see. There's a couple more of these. The thing about printmaking is it's so primitive and if you like that style um, I sometimes do and other times I don't feel like I want that for whatever I'm doing it depends on what I'm doing okay now from here I think I want to 
kind of do something like this for the heck of it. And then I want to go in between the white with a black line. Just do one at first. You might want to add more, but just try one at first. Sometimes less is more. <laughs> That's a good adage. Okay. You can see it popping out at this point. It changes it all together, doesn't it? Yeah. I'll put I'll just make up one here because it looks like it needs it that looks like it needs it okay that's really cute mm -hmm. then I took um, this is kind of interesting uh, this would be kind of optional but this is a bronze sharpie and sometimes I think the bronze sharpie is golder than the gold one. So right in the dots, I'm going to put a little gold. Because these colors seem to be attracted to gold. I'll put some down here. There we go. And I might take and do this. Now that's kind of fancy. Kind of like that. There you go. And that's about all I want to do with that. Do I want to put any gold in here? I could put some gold in here a little bit. Not much. I'm not going to show up that much. I also know... Let me see. Let me finish this. Just, just a suggestion of it. I'll come down here and just very briefly you see get the shape of the leaf nothing too long just the shape of the leaf see bad not too shabby went from this to a piece of regular old paper paper okay then the finished product a card now I told you that this print was a lot smaller than the card size so I said, what's the next size down? And what is the next size down envelope that I could use if I cut this down? And when I cut it down, it fit an A2 invitation envelope. So I put it, I went ahead and put a white place here. And then I'll just sign my name on the back. Uh, 
like that. And I have a card. Oh, why not? Yeah. So there you have it from a chicken tray, styrofoam chicken tray, to a finished piece of art. Thank you, everybody, for joining me in my studio. And experiment around. You can have a little fun.